Hey guys, what's up, Wave Jump here, and welcome back to another Command Block tutorial. In the next two ep episodes, we are going to be doing something a bit different. Uh, we are going to be learning how to create this. That's right, we're going to learn how to create this really cool tunnel and um, how to get these cool little blocks and basically fill them in um, without using crazy command stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and reset it here. Um, just so that for the episode we will have a blank slate to start with. So of course in this episode we will be working on fill, clone, and set block. Uh, and the other thing I should mention uh, is that next episode we are doing summon entity data and effect. Um, so the first step, uh, the first thing we're probably going to start with is set block. So you may be wondering here for example how I'm using one single command block to put out all the text and yes while I could have done that all with a simple fill command, or, uh, or sorry, not with the fill command, but just by using one um, single Telrock command, I figured, well, you know, we'll do it in a more interesting way. So what I did here is, let's go over the syntax of the set block command. So we are going to be practicing on this block of red sand, and um, it is a pretty simple thing to do. All right, so you'll notice here, if I type in slash set block, oops, not slash slash set, slash set block, that it has XYZ tile name, data value, old block handling, and data tag. So the block we will be using to replace it with is a log, and you will see why in just a minute. So we are going to go ahead and just choose our coordinates, and this is a co these are the coordinates of that block. Um, and we are going to go ahead and set it to log. Now if we just set it to log, that will happen. What this next thing is called data value. So a lot of, uh, a lot of different uh, uh, items have data values. So for example, if I wanted birch wood, I do log two. Uh, if I wanted spruce wood, I do log one. Oak wood, I do log zero. Um, and you could just do all sorts of really fun stuff with this. Um, and this, this isn't just for this block. For example, one of the things here that you will notice uh, if I go ahead and let's see which which was it. Oh yeah, so for prismarine bricks, this actually requires something different. So you'll notice if I do prismarine, there's no prismarine bricks. That is not an item, but if I do prismarine, that works. So then if I do prismarine 2, it'll bring up that variant of prismarine, or prismarine run brings up our prismarine bricks that we use there. However, using set block uh, ends up being impractical simply because it just kind of gets really, really tedious to set every block one by one. Well, this may be really helpful to just set a block for a second. How do you create something big like this? Well, that is done using things such as fill and clone, which we will go to in a minute. But just because I want to show you guys this first, we're going to go over it. So what this is, and by the way, there would have been audio, though for some reason my Minecraft is not outputting audio. Uh, so it essentially puts a redstone torch right here, which activates um, both these comparators to activate the note blocks. And then this also sends a pulse. So right here we have um, episode 1 and episode 2, um, and what we're doing there. And then here we have what we're doing next episode. And this essentially just fills this back to air because if that was not there, then, um, well, it wouldn't exactly work out because it, everything would be permanently activated. Originally, I had a block of redstone, although that doesn't work well with comparators, unfortunately. But yeah, essentially, everything would just be locked up and nothing could happen. So that's why there is that precaution taken there. Um, anyways, yeah, now that we've done that, we could finally move on to fill and clone which, of course, are what is used to construct this uh, monstrosity over here. So, in order to use fill, first off, it's a pretty simple thing. And actually, let's go ahead over to our second area to demonstrate this. Alright, so if we go here, say we wanted to fill um, from here to here. And so what we do is slash fill. So first off, we choose the first corner. If you ever played around with world edit, it works kind of like this. So fill the coordinates of the first block, then you're going to grab the coordinates of the second block, and then the block. So of course you're going to need to use the block ID. If you just press tab, it'll give you a list of all of them. Um, let's go ahead and use, say, um, sponge. Bam, it's filled with sponge. Uh, and if I want with sponge, I could just set sponge once. This is very similar um, to other things, and yes, there are... Um, other things. So like for example, 
Uh, if I want to go ahead and run it in a different way here, you'll notice it'll let me replace destroy. So one of the most helpful things is destroy. And by the way, you could do this with set block as well, but destroy will actually end up dropping the previous blocks. So this is a really helpful thing when you're going ahead and doing things like building maps because you could make like a door explode with a particle thing. Um, you could do say hollow, which I'm basically assuming just fills things in but leaves it hollow. Or no, apparently not. I don't honestly know what that one does. Um, you could use outline, which um, again, I don't really know what it does, but you guys can figure this stuff out. And replace, which means that um, yeah, it just it just fills it. But um, yeah, honestly, guys, I don't really know what those modes mean. But you could go ahead and take a look. Probably the Minecraft forum page probably has an information about it. And of course, you could look at the Minecraft wiki if you guys do need help on this. Anyways, uh, another thing you may find helpful is the clone command. So the clone command is a bit of a trickier one, and we're going to go ahead and create ourselves uh, a little platform out here for it. Um, uh, Alright, yeah, let me just move uh, all the way out here because I don't want to overlap that platform. Um, and, you know, just because we can, let's set it to nether warp block. There we go. So we have ourselves a nice little platform here to test out our cloning. So say for example, I had these four blocks of Clodzol and I want this, um, this specific uh, pattern of Clodzol to be uh, filled in the rest of that way. So this is where the clone command comes in, and actually, just because we want to make uh, some more data for it to copy, we're going to also add a sign. So we're on the sign here, we'll just have a bunch of this will be copied magically somehow using commands slash command blocks. There we go. So. What we could go ahead and do here is we could go ahead and use the clone command. So we're going to do slash clone. Again, we're going to grab one corner, and then we're going to grab the other corner. And one thing I don't, I haven't ever actually figured out is exactly from what block it'll clone from. It always seems to act very oddly. So what you're going to want to do is just run this command on your own at your current location and see where it prints out from. So for me, as you could tell, it printed out as if I was standing in this corner here. So, um, if I go ahead and, let's go ahead and clone this two blocks it, er, not two blocks above us, because that's not helpful. <laughs> let's clone this two blocks in another direction. So you'll notice here, it it's a bit tricky to use because it won't always understand exactly where you're standing from. <laughs> but, what I could go ahead and do here is see if I just did it here for example there you go so you'll notice that prints it two blocks left to me I'm not sure what I was doing there actually because I forgot I'm not using relative coordinates so I could actually just do it whatever way but you'll notice if I just stand here and do that then it'll print it out and it'll print it out two blocks to my left so let's go ahead and do it two blocks to my left and two blocks uh, forward and you'll notice that'll happen do that again make a weird pattern looking thing and you'll notice it copies the metadata, so it copies all the information about that. So if I go here again, and you'll notice there are some other modes. So there's replace. So replace will simply just replace anything there. Um, there's also mast, which, um, again, not sure what it does because it's a weird thing. And there's filtered, um, which... Uh, I, I don't know what that means, but what we're going to do anyways is we're going to set to replace and then we're going to use the move settings. So there's normal mode, force mode, and move mode. So because we used move mode, you'll notice that thing has now moved. So now I need to reuse the clone command. Um, so you'll notice it removed the other one and put it here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and put it two blocks above us. Um, and this time we're going to use the force one, which really, again, I'm assuming it has to do something different with algorithms or something, 
because you'll notice with force versus non-force, it doesn't really do much. So I'm, I honestly don't really know, guys. I'm sorry, guys, I'm not an expert at this stuff, but most people don't even actually use these because really all you need to do is do basic fill stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys now actually how I made this uh, design over there uh, with the tunnel and basically how I did that using the fill command and clone command. All right. So of course I just created the outline and I filled everything in and yes I know it is laggy here but just bear with me and essentially I made this first archway part and I basically decided okay well if we clone this and we remember we have to clone it because it's as if in a box shape so you know I'm cloning from this bottom corner right here to up here um, and then I'm just kept cloning it forward until I got this very long tunnel and then we get to the next part, which happens to be covered next episode. So if you guys want to go ahead and see that next episode soon, go ahead and smash that like button down below and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye!